Right now we're wasting one third of all the food that is produced, which doesn't make any sense. Mm. Hey tribe, Stephanie Dixon here for Green is a New Black TV, your guide to conscious living in Asia. Today we're going to be tackling food waste. We're going to be looking at how big this problem really is, some of the innovative solutions that are actually available and how we can use data. And we're going to be chatting with Maxime Pura, who is the managing director of Winner. Max, thanks so much for having us here. Yeah, thank you. So let's start by looking at how big the food waste problem really is on a global scale. Right now we're wasting one third of all the food that is produced, which doesn't make any sense. Mm. We're using a lot of land, almost 30% of the land is used to produce food that is going to be wasted. So when we imagine the impact that it has, not only on, on the, the food actually, where it's going to go to the landfill, but habitats for animals that are going to be destroyed for this, the water we're going to use to produce this food, etc., etc. And also if we're looking at the business side, it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost one trillion US dollars that is thrown away every year. So it doesn't make sense for a planet, but it doesn't make sense also as a business. Yeah, that's insane. And so why is it wasted though? I mean, for those that maybe don't know, like, why are we seeing a third of all food created wasted? We becoming a society that we use to get everything that we want when we want it. Um, so we have to respond to this demand and by producing enough, everyone can get whatever they want, when they want. So how is Wino kind of tackling this food problem then? So you're coming more from an industry basis, mm -hmm. so maybe you can walk us through what you guys are doing and how it works. Food waste is a problem that happens at many levels. So really from the production to our fork in our homes and our in the restaurants. So our idea, especially we had more knowledge into the hospital business is like how can we help this particular industry to understand where the food waste uh, happens and how much it costs and quantify it and look at the data and be able to be better in production in planning and understanding what we throw away yeah definitely and so how does the technology actually work the system is a scale that is connected by Bluetooth to a tablet where we're going to put in the kitchen the, the equipment with the bin on top of the scale. And every time we have overproduction food or anything, we're going to throw it into the bin. The bin is going to send a signal to the tablet say, hey, you just throw away one kilo. What is it? So three simple click and it will say uh, it was coming from breakfast and it was uh, scrambled eggs. Well, tell me, thank you very much. You just throw away for $10 of eggs um, and 500 grams or whatever. This is connected to the cloud, so all this information is sent to the cloud process and sent back directly to um, the restaurants or the hotels or the cruise ship or anything and saying yesterday you threw away X amount of food, it cost you X amount. This is when it happened and this is your biggest opportunity. Aside from you know what you said, like how like there is a lot of power with data to actually unlock some of the problem around this food waste. So maybe you can share with us some of the case studies of some of the big clients that you've worked with and kind of how big their problem was and what the results were after they used yeah. the data. So for example, we started working with uh, with a core group. So we've been working first in Asia, and now we're working um, globally uh, with them, and we help them to take actions and go in the fr uh, forefront of, um, uh, of the public and say, we don't want to waste food anymore, and we're going to reduce our food waste um, by 30% by 2020. So we have this one, and, and this is one of the brands, but we can also talk with a company that's been very sustainable for years, like IKEA, that we've mm. been working with, that uh, took a, a step further to reduce by 50% their food waste. And wow. um, they've been deploying globally as well to work towards this. So we have those companies, we have also cruise ships, um, we work with Costa Cruise uh, that took a step to reduce by 50%. Um, so we see all of this uh, movement coming from, from us just saying, look at your data. Mm. And by looking at your data, you will see that you can actually make a change. And so uh, what are some little green steps that our audience can actually take, um, little actions to reduce their food waste? You can first, don't ever go to the supermarket hungry. So we're going to overbuy and unfortunately after it's going to go into the, uh, the fridge or into the drawers and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to rot. Make a, a grocery list, you know what you want to plan. Plan your meals. I have a drawer in my, in my fridge, you said to eat first. So everything that's about to go bad, I put it there and I have a rule, like when I open my fridge, I always look there first. Reuse as much as possible. Mm. Like all my trimmings of vegetables are going into a bag in my freezer um, that I will, um, once in a month, I will just put everything into a pot and make a vegetable stock. Well, that was awesome. Thank you so much for no sharing problem. everything. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today so that you can live more consciously tomorrow. And if you're looking for more tips and tricks, you can head over to greenisanewblack.asia. Mm.